Hello people and welcome to this uh, tutorial. My name is Stefan Limlod. I'm an illustrator and graphic designer and I live in Stockholm, Sweden and I also do some image editing. I'm going to show you using the program called Coral Photo Paint X7 which is part of the Coral Draw Graphics Suit in how I'm going to fix the loose bags under the eyes. The loose bags are areas here under the eye that make me in this photo look a bit tired. Of course I was a bit tired when this photo had been taken. It had been a long week and I had been out running and uh, well, actually bicycling, uh, not running. But that's not, uh, not, let's not go into details about that. But what I want to show you is how I can fix this in, in a very quick and a very good way. One way of doing it previously have been to simply copy and paste an area around the eye and paste it under the eye. So it's like taking an area here and then put it here and then cover basically but I, I don't want to cover in that sense what I want to do is to simply start first with an object uh, and take a color close to the eyes here that I feel is a good replacement just outside the dark areas that I will now use to cover up and I'm using a um, digital pen tablet this one is from Wacom and uh, you can use any tablet or, or mouse for that matter if you like a tool. But what I'm actually doing, I'm not painting like this, I'm just touching, touching, touching. So I get a very soft um, result. I'm also using a brush nib, this one here, um, which is soft on the edges and, and it plays the color much softer. And as you can see, that I'm not covering everything in the sense that I'm like putting a blue color here and covering everything. I'm just working the color in to the skin, so to speak. But I'm not finished there. I'm going to do a couple of other things, or one more thing, um, which is using the opacity. But I'm going to show that in just a while, because now I'm going to go over to this side, so I'm going to create a new object and I'm gonna grab the eyedropper tool again and take a color over here because I can't use the color that I used for the left eye I, I need to use the color especially for the right eye and the color here as you can see I'm in a, in a shadow here and the color on the face is different here so I'm gonna I'm not pick that one and now I'm gonna use the same brush and now I'm gonna paint over the, the areas again the dark areas and where some wrinkles are and so on and these these are typical for when you are tired they show up a little bit more so um, and here the wrinkles here I mean the wrinkles you, you I could remove with a touch-up brush also but it actually helps quite a lot just simply add some, some paint here as well so and now I'm just gonna show you the um, by simply selecting these two and making them into groups so it's so it's easy for me to show you simultaneously the difference first I'm going to show you this is how it looked when I started and this is how it looks now that's quite a result wouldn't you say and if I now would zoom in, I would see that it, I might recognize that there's some paint work done there, even though it's actually not showing that extremely much. But, but what I want to do now is to show you that if I add some opacity here in the opacity slide, opacity is the same thing as transparency, uh, basically. So I'm, if I'm going to add some transparency to this one here now, you're going to see that even with transparency, it's still cover over the dark areas. But it also it adds even more possibilities for me to see some of the texture, so, so it looks real. So now it's just a, a, a decision, you know, if you're going to send this away. Cover it all or add some opacity to it to soften the, the effect a little bit. So just look at it before we end this tutorial. You see? 
it's quite easy and it's actually a, a wonderful result. I hope this will help you in your uh, retouch work and uh, I hope you have a great day. Thank you for watching.